Hello, wonderful winter webs. Inter interwebs. Winter well, winter webs works. Winter webs works because it's it's freezing cold outside and there's tons of snow and we're in the middle of winter and I'm talking to the interwebs. So um, this is the sweatiest of all the Hewlett's. Back with a burn and learn. Uh, 64 minutes of intense focused learning on the torture device. I gotta say, I'm getting to the point where I almost want to do this every day because you learn so much. There's no distractions. You're just focused on this stuff and it's just, uh, it's kind of wonderful. Um, I don't know if I'm learning anything or remembering anything, but boy, that stuff's just flowing around my brain right now. It's it's uh, it's very, very exciting, obviously. And you come out all, um, all uh, you know, the uh, the endorphins or the dolphins, as my son would say, are, are swimming around inside me and I'm feeling very excited about everything I've learned and dying to put into action. So this is, um, I should say, this is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, fantastic, wonderful, gorgeous wife, Jane. Um, I hate exercise. It is so freaking boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it. I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, grumpiest way possible and thus guilt myself into doing it on a regular basis because I'm posting it to YouTube so you know if I don't exercise as well as me. And the doctor read me the riot act the last time I was there. Like, I'm overweight and my cholesterol sucks and I'm old. So I gotta, I've got to do some exercise. Um, and that was that just the obvious thing to everybody seems to be just, you know, exercise and eat healthily. Uh, right now, I'll just work on the exercise because <laughs> I like my chocolate. Um, <laughs> not so much the chocolate. It's more the doughs, the pizzas, the doughs, the bakery stuff that I have... Uh, have the hardest time. Well, and dessert. Actually, everything. I, I really just enjoy food, I'm afraid. Um, but uh, so I try to assuage that guilt and uh, some of the damage by doing my uh, my torture device. So I did 64 minutes today. Um, I've sort of broken the the hour now. I mean, I don't I don't feel like I want to go beyond much beyond an hour because I feel like that's then it just starts becoming a little obsessive. Um, but an hour uh, is just a great solid time to learn something. So I'm doing this Arduino uh, developers. I want, for want of a better word, like playlist on um, LinkedIn Learning. So, the, I mean, or a course, I guess, um, where it's a series of different videos that they sort of piece together. They say, by the end of it, you should have a basic understanding of, of Arduino development. I have finished the Arduino hardware IDE stuff, um, which is the programming interface for Arduino. Uh, I've gone through all of that. We ended with the H bridge, which is which is very cool because it applies very much to what I'd like to do because it's um, it allows you to control um, just larger electric motors. Um, you know, for example, like the ones on my electric wheelchair. So this would allow you to change the polarity of the motor so that it goes forward and reverse and control how fast and slow um, it's moving. Um, and you can't do that with an Arduino because because of the tiny voltages involved in the Arduino. You'd fry it with the with the giant chunky fantastic, wonderful robot-like um, motors on the uh, on the electric wheelchair. So you need this H-bridge, which is uh, it's basically just a switch. It's a way of, of, of using the Arduino's tiny little voltage to go flick and flick a switch on or off, um, you know, forward or backwards, depending. So it can change the polarity and the on and off and the amount of speed, the amount of electricity that those motors are getting and thus the speed of the, of the, um, of the motors. So kind of a complex uh, thing to get your head around. Uh, and certainly, one of those things you sort of want to be sitting at the board playing with stuff, but uh, but still, I feel like I got a great sort of baseline understanding of that stuff. I'm wading through the shallows towards the deep end, um, and now <laughs> and I've been flung into C programming again, which I have done numerous times. I have done 21 days to become a C programmer back in the day when Sam had those giant big books. I worked all the way through that. I have done numerous video courses, but I'm starting, I start again every time because I just want to, I know this stuff I miss. And if you don't do it every day, it's like a language. You just don't, if you're not speaking French every day, uh, je ne parle français. So, um, you know, so like C, I need to use it more. And C seems to be kind of a big part of this Arduino thing, um, which is, I mean, it's a very, in a way, and it's an inaccessible language for, for many of the kids, but it allows me to do a bunch of stuff with the kids, I think. So um, So I'm now doing C programming. We've just started basically going through the fact that the, the great thing about C is it really teaches you the importance of syntax and neat code, comments, all that kind of stuff, because it can be very cryptic and it's very demanding in the way it forces you to program. A lot of these sort of higher level languages, so ones that that are uh, just easier to sort of just type and run type thing, you can sort of make them up on the fly, which is what I've done most of and what most people do, and honestly, you do a lot of cutting and pasting and just let it go. But C, you gotta, 
it's got these very specific chunks and you got to run them the right way and there's building and compiling and, and uh, linking and all sorts of stuff you have to do. Most of it's done automatically now, but, but it's, just, um, it's just a really great language for learning the nuts and bolts. And it also has, you can use, you can actually operate on the bit level. You can turn bits off and on, which are great for uh, doing like a little logic Logic things like turning off and on LEDs and um, and getting into the real sort of like the, the 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 right into the guts of the of the program of the of a, of a you know of these controller chips themselves, which is the next stage. So I will finish C programming to get me the full basics on C, not the full, but you know their basics on C. I will then move into um, uh, programming for. Um, for uh, basically the actual controller chips themselves, uh, what do they control? Embedded controllers. So I'm actually going to be in the in the hardware side of stuff uh, uh, at the end, which I'm really excited about. So I've got to so I got to exercise more so that I get more time to uh, to, to learn this stuff. Um, uh, and again, LinkedIn Learning is just is proving a, an amazing amazing resource for that. Um, other exciting things: the Steam Sisters finally had the Steam Sisters over yesterday. We did a whole bunch of filming and chatting and nattering on, and had just a ridiculously fun time where I actually learned things um, and uh, made things, and they are extraordinary. And frankly, all I want to do is just make videos with them all the time because they're fabulous. Um, in fact, who knows? Maybe we will. Maybe they can just like we can just maybe I can somehow get them involved in the Tech Bandits and. Um, uh, I think they should. We should just be working down here all the time, making up fun projects because they work with Let's Talk Science all the time. They know the science. They know the educational standpoint of stuff. They have wicked sense of humor, um, and they're just fun to hang out with. So uh, it's like really, it's a win-win-win-win situation for uh, for everybody. I think so. Um, anyway, so you'll see some the fruits of our labor uh, on that. Um, it was not quite as organized as any of us planned because we were too busy chatting, but uh, we definitely got some fun stuff down and I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, and I know, I know you'll love them. So, um, so that's it. So until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come or there I go.